Recent studies that compare the human and ape minds are revealing something surprising. Bonobos like Kanzi show their own kind of genius. Kanzi, could you take off Sue's shoe? Could you take my shoe off, please? You might need to untie it. Even skeptics agree that Kanzi understands more words than any other non-human animal. He also uses an array of visual symbols to communicate. But on closer inspection, Kanzi, like all great apes, lacks the full mental package. Take Kanzi's use of language. Most of the time, he will use these symbols to request things, to say, "Take me there" or "Give me that." Now, Kanzi will not use those symbols to talk about the weather or to just make small talk, which is a very human thing. When human infants communicate with others, they engage in a real conversation where each conversational turn is responsive to the turn that came before, and they even ask for clarification if they need. So you say, huh, or you say, yeah, and you let the other one know uh, how the communication is going. To engage in a real conversation, each speaker needs a sense of what the other is thinking. Call this skill mind reading. Young children haven't fully developed it. Hey, so Zoe, guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna play a game with my princess Sally here. See, this is Princess Sally, and she's got a ball that she really likes. This is her ball, but she has to go away for a little bit. So Princess Sally is gonna hide her ball right over here in the bag. See Princess Sally hiding her ball right there in the purple bag? Yeah. So here she goes. She's gonna go away for just a little bit. Now, while Princess Sally is away, we're gonna play a little trick on her, okay? We're gonna move her ball from the purple bag over here to the green bag. See how we've moved the ball over there? Okay, so guess what? Princess Sally's coming back. Here she is, she came back. Can you tell me, where is Princess Sally gonna first look for her ball? Over here in the green bag. Can you tell me why is Princess Classic Sally? studies showed that three-year-olds make consistent mistakes about what others know. The thing that's amazing about three-year-olds is how convinced they are about their wrong answer. They're so sure that she's going to look for her ball where it really is, because she wants it, and that's where it is. Princess Sally. But by the age of four, most children are accomplished mind readers. Where is Sally first going to look for her ball? It's going to look on the in the purple bag so, so she can find her ball. She's going to look in the purple bag. That's the right answer. As recently as 2001, studies seem to show that apes don't know what others are thinking. But then, new experiments began to reveal unexpected skills. In one study, as a chimp approached a treat, Brian Hare moved it out of reach establishing himself as a competitor. Next, Hare blocked his own view of one treat, but left another in his sight. It looks like they're generating a plan and saying to themselves, okay, I want that food, and the one I'm most likely to get is the one he's not looking at, or the one that if I sneak around, he won't see me, and therefore I can have my yummy banana treat. This chimp seems to know what's on Hare's mind, what he can see and what he can't. So chimps seem to share a bit of our talent for mind reading. Do we have any mental skills that are uniquely our own? A key clue comes from a new experiment. Back at the University of Texas, Victoria Horner shows a chimp how to operate a puzzle box to get a piece of candy. First, she taps. Then she slides. Next, she pokes.
The chimp copies pretty well and gets the sweet. This game we're gonna play is about this special box I brought, all right? There's a gummy bear. It's your turn. Children copy the actions much as the chimps did. Oh, you got him! All right, there's a gummy bear. Good job. The second box that I show the chimpanzees is this one, and it's identical to the opaque box, except that it's made out of material which is see-through. Only now is it obvious that Horner's tapping and poking don't achieve a thing. The box has a false ceiling. The chimps cut to the chase. They skip the needless steps. For the apes, it's all about the treat. What this study shows is that apes don't just mindlessly ape. They also understand something more about cause and effect. We found something quite surprising. The children were predisposed to copy, even when it meant that they were doing something that was really rather silly. So this seems a little like the chimps are outsmarting the kids in this particular study. There he is. You got him out. Why do kids imitate slavishly? At the root of the children's behavior is the fact that they viewed me as a grown-up, possibly as a teacher. That children expect to be taught is a vital difference. While apes can copy, most researchers believe they don't teach each other. <laughs> Learning from someone else is the fastest way to get a new idea. Okay. Faster than learning by imitation. Faster than inventing a new technology in the first place. In children, a penchant for teaching appears even before language kicks in, in the form of a deceptively simple gesture. Pointing.